oral histories have long been a crucial part of preserving cultural, historical, and social knowledge. But how much can we rely on these stories without written evidence? This question has been a challenge for Canada's Heiltsuk Nation, whose land claims based on oral traditions have often been dismissed due to lack of evidence. Meet the Heiltsuk people, an indigenous group from the coastal region of British Columbia. They have lived on these lands for thousands of years, their culture deeply intertwined with the coastal environment that has sustained them for millennia. Before the invention of written language, societies relied on oral traditions to pass on their histories and wisdom. However, like a game of telephone, information can change as it passes from one person to another. So, how accurate are these oral histories? According to the oral history of the Heiltsuk nation, their ancestors survived the last ice age in a strip of land that never froze. But for this to be true, the Haltsuk people would have been in British Columbia over 20,000 years ago, a timeline that doesn't match current theories of North American habitation. The most widely accepted theory of human habitation in North America suggests that humans crossed the Bering Land Bridge about 16,500 years ago. If the Haltsuk oral history is accurate, humans would have had to cross this bridge much earlier than previously thought. For years, the Haltsuk Nation's land rights claims in British Columbia were dismissed because they were based on oral histories. But a recent archaeological discovery could change everything, providing physical evidence to back up these ancient stories. Archaeologists from the Hakai Institute have uncovered artifacts on Triked Island that date back to before the last ice age. These finds provide undeniable evidence of an ancient village and validate the Haltsuk Nation's oral traditions. The Haltsuk people's oral histories tell of a culture deeply reliant on the ocean, with herring as a staple of their diet for thousands of years. The archaeological evidence supports these stories, showing that the Haltsuk people were adept sea mammal hunters and skilled sailors. The discovery on Trikid Island is challenging the accepted theory of how humans arrived in North America. Rather than crossing the Bering Land Bridge, the evidence suggests that early humans may have traveled by boat, a theory supported by the seafaring culture of the Haltsuk people. If you like this video, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and learn more about how we enhance history.